was all like I passed through a lot in the hand of my fellow blacks. I will not say white man. When you become a Pan African or you become someone who speak for Africa or you become the mouthpiece of Africa, they are, trust me, no white man will fight you. Your fellow blacks will be the one to destroy you. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to True Mambi. I hope you are all well by the grace of God. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Mamri, by the way. This video has, since I've listened to me, has disturbed me a lot. And I want to share with you. Many of you will know that uh, for the past two, three months, I've been sharing a video about a young a man living in Italy sharing his, uh, I mean, sharing videos about what his frustration on Africa leaders. Some people do not like it. But I watched this video, I listened to him. The reason why he has become Pan African, he was also saying that if he will be deleted, it will be African. He said it in one of his videos. But I thought maybe because of some of our leaders, what happened to them, like Kwame Kruma, Dr. Pra Kwame Kruma, may his soul rest in peace, and the rest. That's why he was saying that. But when I listened to part of his story, he said an African has reported him. He was arrested some time ago, and his documents were taken from him. And not to travel for some time. He said a lot of things why he thinks that if anything will happen to him, he will be an African, which is so, so sad. Uh, this young man is brave. He has a lot of knowledge about what is going on in Africa, which um, it doesn't come just like that. Th people like that, God created them that way. People that say things that many of us dare to say, that they already know what will happen to them, but they don't care. They will do it anyway. We have few in Africa, Africa heroes. And um, even PLO Lumumba says a lot of things, but there are things that he cannot say. But this brave young man say it. He said people has made a video to insult him because of what he's doing. Things that he's saying about Africa leaders. Those people who has made those videos to insult this guy, I haven't come across any of those videos. Not yet. What is in your mind? What are you thinking? Have you been sponsored? by some of these leaders, and that's why you want to destroy him, insult him. Don't forget that what he's doing, what he's saying today, he's opening the eye of a lot of people that in future will come and listen to those videos if, God forbid, it's not deleted by, you know, our big boss. Is an eye opener to our future children. If you cannot do it, why not just listen, silent, instead of insulting? Somebody came under one of his videos that I shared and left a message Shame on you. I just said, Thank you. Is there? I delib deliberately didn't delete it. I have right to do that, but I didn't. What has he done? So you will say shame on him. Is he saying something bad? Even if he says something, just say it. That what he's saying is bad. Please just leave this guy alone. Let him do his thing. Let's say what is in his mind. Sometimes the words he uses and things that he says, it's like he's possessed. He, he has been possessed by something, by something in Africa that wants to wake its peoples up. Mother Africa wants his peoples to wake up and think about 
what we can do in Africa to make Africa better. You see all the shouting that went on when they wanted to go to Niger. They are quiet now. They are listening. If we kept quiet, if some of us do not share our opinion, if that guy do not share, you know how many people watch his video about what he said about Niger? Millions watch that video, including those of us who share it. They heard it and they think twice. I'm not saying they will never go, but anyone that will go, their conscience will judge them because they will know that we know what is going on. Why would someone take it upon themselves to be insulting him? I know when you put yourself on social media, you open the door for people to share their opinions about you. I know that. I know that. But what I will say is, don't hate him. Hate our leaders instead. Because they make they, they, they make people, people like us, to be talking about them. If everything is right, if everything is good, if we open our mouth, we will thank them and we will say we are good. We don't need any help from anywhere. But because it's not, that's why. Leave him alone. Please leave him alone. Let him do his thing. Whether he's risking his life, some say, I read a comment. Some says you are in Europe and you are doing that. You are among them and you are hating them. You know what he's doing. Sometimes, you can't help it, but to say it and be free, or not to be free. People like that, they are created to do that kind of job. Look at Ibrahim Tor in um, Burkina Faso, what he's doing. They have attempted several times to delete him, but still there. Maybe God has given him long years to continue to liberate his people or short time to liberate his people. He's not going to stop because of other people don't like his opinion. Other people hate that he wants to feed his people and not to feed them and so they will eliminate him. I just want to come and share this video with you. Listen to this short video that I've taken from what he said. I was so sad that um, an African would do or insult him or would even think bad of him, whereby the people he's against are not even the Africans. Everything he says about our leaders. He always says that they are controlled by other people. Can you please leave that guy alone? Please. Thank you so much. Let's share love. Let's love ourselves because if we don't love ourselves, no one will love us. We are hated in a lot of countries, in a lot of places, but yet we still hate ourselves as well. There was a, a video I watched. I will look for it because I think I know this person. That shared a story about a Nigerian working and um, he or she has been sleeping at work. And what happened? His fellow Nigerian reported that guy or that a lady and the person has been sacked from work. That's how much we love ourselves. I'll put that video in the comment section. I just remember the channel I watch it for. Please listen to it ourselves. Why do we hate ourselves? Why do Africans we hate ourselves? We need to change this. We need to change it because it's becoming too much. 
Please listen to him. I've always said it that if I die, white man will not kill me. Don't accuse white man, but accuse my fellow blacks. Because they will be the one to kill me. Because That's I passed it. through a lot. Betray from my friends, betray from black people who I believe, okay, I can, I can work with them. You know, to an extent, it led me to seize my documents. I can no more move. I can no more go nowhere. I can no more fly, fly to any country. I have to stay in one place. That's what they call house arrest. I still have the case file here. I have to take a lawyer to fight myself because of my fellow black. Just lead me into trouble. Thank you for watching up to this stage. You can go on his channel and support him. I think he's doing a great job. We need to help one another. We have to support one another. Africans, we should love one another. Africans, let us love one another. It doesn't matter which country you come from in Africa. We are one people before we got di uh, divided. So let's love one another and stop the hate. Just stop the heat. Thank you so much.